Goodbye, old friend. I'll miss you. Just kidding. Hey guys, my name's Dogjade, and welcome to episode one of Crastorio. I have never played Crastorio before, so this will be a completely blind run. As per usual, I have started with default settings on a randomized seed, so I have no idea what to expect. Unfortunately, it looks like we got a desert with no trees. Great. What the heck is a Mersite? Guess we'll find out later. Looks like there's some biters fairly close by, so we'll have to take them out before starting any serious automation. Inside the spaceship is some pistol ammo. Slightly strange that it's not just regular ammo. Also, looks like we start with a few slow assemblers on the ground. And it looks like they nerfed mining speed a ton too. Picking up these bits of rocket debris is taking forever and a half. We also get a little lab, but it takes tech cards instead of science packs. Weird, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, and a tiny 240 kilowatt reactor. We haven't even researched anything yet, and there's already some new stuff to worry about. Inserter parts? Weird. Now that all the rocket bits are picked up, I'll grab some wood to make power poles and hook everything up. Man, this research tree is insane. There's so much new stuff here that I have no idea where to even start. For now, I think I'm just gonna go take out this binder nest and free up the coal patch. Bullets now have physics, which is pretty cool, but it also means I need to aim more precisely. And holy cow, these biters seem to have a lot more health than usual. I should have brought some fish. How? It seems I have severely underestimated the biters. Which is good news and bad news. The good news is it'll make gameplay and base defense more interesting, but the bad news is I'm terrified of biters again. Another little quirk of Crastorio is you have to set the recipes in furnaces manually. I understand why from a technical perspective, but still, very strange. Smelting plates now takes 10 ore to make 5 plates. Hopefully there's a way to make that ratio better later on. It seems like a lot of crafting recipes haven't had their ratios changed, but their crafting amount has been inflated. So instead of crafting 2 copper wire from a single plate, you now have to craft 8 copper wire from 4 plates. I think this is an interesting gameplay change, but man, it's annoying when you're low on items. I'll handcraft some, uh, basic tech cards, and holy crap, they take forever to craft, but thankfully you get five at a time, which makes it slightly more bearable. Might as well use these little ship assemblers to make the tech cards while I'm doing other stuff. And there's automation cores. They're a prerequisite to assemblers. Next up, I'll research military so I can try taking out those biter bases again. Automation cores require gears, sticks, and copper plates. Early game recipes already requiring three ingredients. Oh no. Pistol ammo requires coal now, which makes sense. And honestly, I think it should require coal in the base game too. And military is done. I just realized that rifle ammo is separate from pistol ammo. And I can't even make rifle ammo in the assemblers we have, so I have to handcraft it. It seems to be a lot more effective, but I can hardly aim once the biters get up in my personal space. I went to kill the nest, but I started to run low on ammo and I didn't bring any fish, so I had to retreat temporarily. That's one, and that's two. Finally. Next up is automation tech cards, which require these blank tech cards as well. I tried to fight this other nest as well, but I wasn't prepared for worms, so I had to bail. The ship lab is pretty darn slow, so I add a second one to hopefully speed things up a little. But since I don't have inserters yet, I still have to move the tech cards around manually. It looks like the purple stuff under the biter nests absorbs pollution. That's cool. Speaking of absorbing pollution, I want to unlock air purification as soon as possible, so biters will be less of an issue. But it's still pretty far away, so we're not gonna get it done today. The ship's reactor can't keep up with power needs anymore, so I'll have to build a few of these wind turbines. These turbines make a hilariously small amount of power. 20 kilowatts is laughable. But I've got no other choice right now, so I'll just have to spam the heck out of them. Why do the ores stack above 50? This feels so wrong. Plates too. For some reason, the game makes a distinction between assemblers facing north and assemblers facing east. 
Well, I've been procrastinating long enough. Time to throw down some more miners and furnaces to really get things moving. These turbines, man. They're hardly making a dent. Automation cards are done. Now I'll research turrets, mostly for offensive purposes. Red tech cards require quite a few intermediate ingredients, and that is both exciting and kind of scary. I hope the later tech cards aren't extremely complicated. A bit of waiting later, and turrets are done. Next up is automation, and then light armor. An hour in, and I finally place our first assembler to boost basic tech card production. But we don't have enough power to run it, so it's time to make even more turbines. And light armor is done. Time to make some more rifle ammo and get those biters. I seem to be missing a ton of shots up close. Guns are definitely more balanced towards long range combat in this mod. Or the more likely case is it's just a skill issue. I tend to have a lot of those. Jeez, that took forever. Back to research. Now we're working on electric miners. I'm hoping to get a smelting array up and running soon. Next, I'm going to research crushing. For some reason, I thought it would let me refine ore so I could smelt it into more plates. I have no idea where that idea came from. While that researches, I'll start belting the ores over to where I want the smelting array to be. I really should have set up steam power before using electric miners. That was kind of a dumb move on my part. Regardless of how slow it is, we've got ore. There's the crusher. Next up is logistics. I made a crusher, and past me was immediately disappointed that I didn't get special items for crushing ores. Moving on, time to start working on the smelting array. I can't actually build it yet, because I'm still waiting on logistics. Apparently fuels are a lot less clean burning than in the base game. Lots of pollution. After adding a second lab, logistics is done. Next up is fluid handling, which will bring us one step closer to steam power. A little tip came up while I was building the smelting array, informing me that I can switch what side of the belt inserters place their items. Pretty cool. And there's basic fluid handling. Now we can research steam engines. After setting up the inserters to fill both sides of the belt, the smelting array is done. Now I just need to set the recipes and get some more coal. Steam engines are done. Hopefully this will help accelerate building the base. What's with Modded Factorio always making offshore pumps need power? Anyways, with some coal, now we've got more power. Iron plates are starting to produce. I just realized they're slightly retextured, which looks strange at first, but overall I like the lighter color. I almost forgot to run a line of coal to the boilers. With these new ratios for smelting, I have no clue what I'm doing ratio-wise, so this is probably way too big. Anyways, time to finally automate some belts. I'll tear down all the old lab equipment and build a dedicated setup for making the tech cards. Now we finally have fully automated science. Except for wood. We still need a greenhouse for that. Speaking of greenhouse, all we need now is stone processing, and then we can unlock it. This tip scared me because I thought it was triggered by a biter attack, but nope, it was just a random tip. Man, with all these intermediates, crafting inserters takes forever. Time. 
Time to set up a stone mine. We're going to need it for crushing into sand and then smelting that sand into glass. Also, loaders make their first appearance. Now that stone processing is done, we can get started on greenhouses. I wonder how major of an ingredient sand will end up being, but for now, I'll just turn it directly into glass. Next up, I'm going to automate rifle ammo so I can have a little stockpile for purely diplomatic reasons. Here would have been the perfect opportunity to use a loader, but I didn't really consider it at the time because I had already forgotten they existed. Old habits die hard, I guess. Greenhouses are done. I'll also research the trees you can place, because I'm hoping I can spam them to avoid pollution spreading too much. Underground pipes are super long. I wonder why. After hooking up our first greenhouse, we can now turn water directly into wood. Seems kind of cheaty, but it's probably well balanced. Wood on the bus. Now that's something you don't see every day. It's just, that's, it's so cursed, I don't like it. I'm done researching trees. Yet another thing I never thought I would say. Looks like the dream of spamming the trees is dead for now. Long craft times means it takes a total of 90 seconds to create one tree out of water. But maybe later on I'll scale this up a ton. Next up on the research tree is electronics. This will unlock green circuits. Here comes our first tree. But for now, I'll switch back to making wood. Electronics are done. Next up is logistic tech cards. Green circuits require wood. I think I'm going to be sick. Whatever, I still have to set them up regardless if I have a distaste for their biological nature. I'm an unbelievably indecisive player sometimes, so I made some more trees. I have a suspicion that I'll need glass later on, so I'll add it to the bus. Logistic tech cards are done, so now I'll start working on scaling up science production. First up, we're gonna make tech cards. And then gears. Making gears on the bus for this run is kinda strange, because gears are actually the same density as plates in this mod. But whatever, I like having gears on the bus, so I'm doing it. The bus is about to hit the lake, so it's time to turn east. With the bus properly rotated, we can set up some serious science production. First up is the super simple basic tech cards. Next is automation tech cards, and for those I'll have to make automation cores. I also researched steel, but I forgot why. Time to make logistic tech cards. They're super easy. There we go, all three tech cards are done now. So I'll go ahead and tear down the old research setup since we don't need it anymore. 
fluid chemistry looks interesting. I'll research it, but I'm saving all the fluid-related stuff for next episode. Also, all of my trees are starting to die from absorbing pollution. I guess I'll need to plant more of them soon. But it looks like they hardly made a dent in the pollution cloud anyway. I'll set up some temporary labs so we can hammer out some more research. Looks like steel processing unlocked coke. I'll go ahead and set that up. It looks like it's using the wood for fuel, and I'm not sure how to prevent that. Oh well. Last time I checked, coke is white, so this must be a really bad batch. Anyways, I'm purple now, and it's time to make some steel. And there we go. Steel. We're almost four hours in, and finally the biters have decided to attack us for the first time. Now it's time for some retaliation. First I just have to find where the nest attacked us from. It's probably to the west. Scratch that, it's probably towards the south, but at least I found some oil. And they didn't come from the south either. Must be from the northwest. It would be nice to have a radar to reveal the area around us, but I can't research it yet. There they are. A quick shout out to Dr. Martin for informing me that you can hold down both left and right click when repairing turrets to pick them up faster. Back to the base now, it's time to add some more labs. Fluid chemistry is done. Next is fast inserters to load the labs faster. After upgrading the inserters, next I'll research sentinels. They're like a little mini radar. I'm also going to set up engine production. Once again, I don't have a specific reason as to why, but I feel like we'll need them later. Engines require only 3.1 iron plates total. By comparison, vanilla engines require 9 plates. I wonder why they're so cheap. Oh my goodness, he's so cute! Little tiny little guy. I love him. I went ahead and placed enough of them to cover the entire base. Next up is Automation 2. Now I'm just researching stuff that looks cool. Silicon processing is next. I went for a little stroll and found this worm, and that made me realize that guns have a lot bigger of a range than usual. Man, these immersite caves are pretty. Double the labs means double the reused jokes. Water electrolysis looks interesting, but I'm not looking forward to dealing with all these separated chemicals. There's oil processing. Next is mineral water extraction. To show off the lab speed, I researched stone walls and heavy armor, but heavy armor ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would take. I also made myself some of that heavy armor. And steel axe, because why not? You might have noticed I didn't use any of the new fluids this episode. That's because I'm saving them for next time. I'd like to take a moment to shout out my supporters on Ko-fi. Y'all are awesome. But that's all for today. My name's Doc Jade. Bye-bye.